In this video, we're going to look at the blues licks from lessons 60, 61, 62, and 63. And these licks will use open strings and vibrato and some slides. The first one we're going to look at is exercise number one on lesson 60. And it's going to be on the first and second strings. It's a great stock guitar lick. You can use it in solos and in fills. And basically you're going to be playing the G note right here on the third fret of the first string, then play the open string, the open E, then go to the third fret of the second string, and then play the open string, and then go back and repeat the figure. And it'll sound like this. And you can do that a little faster once you get the coordination up and it'll sound like this. So that's a good lick to have in your bag of tricks, so to speak. So the next one we'll look at is exercise two on lesson 60. And this one's going to have a similar principle, similar sound. It's just going to be on the second string and the third string. It's going to go from the second string, third fret, to the open string, like this. And then it will go from the second fret of the third string, the note A, to the note G. And together, so slowly. And you can reverse the order of these licks just like all the licks in this book, they're just the starting point for your own discoveries. So if you started with the open G on the third string, and played the A, and then played the open B to the D, it could sound like this. So I'm doing the lick forwards in reverse there. So starting forwards, and then Take it in reverse. Okay, let's look at lick number three on lesson 60. And this one's going to be on the third and the fourth strings. And there's a pattern here. It sounds like similar in music. When you have a similar pattern on different notes, that's called a sequence. So these are all sequences. And you can use these all in like an E blues if you're playing over an E7 chord. Or in minor, if you're doing something corresponding minor. That's your E minor chord. Okay, so let's look at exercise three. So we'll start on the, the second fret of the third string, and we're going to play the note A, and then go to the open G, and then play the note E, and then go to the open D. And it will sound like this. Okay, last guy on this page is exercise four. This is on lesson 60. And basically we're going to walk up the E blues scale with this one. And this is a, another great stock lick. You can use this in a lot of scenarios and you're playing in various songs at various speeds. So basically we'll just start on the D string, use the open D, then fret the note, then play the, the G string open, and then fret the note A, then go to the B, play that open, fret the note D on the third fret, then play the E open, and then fret the note G. And all together it will sound like this slowly. And you can give a little vibrato at the end for an extra measure. One more time. This is exercise four on lesson 60. Okay, let's look now at the four exercises on lesson 61. These are also great blues licks that are quite versatile. You can use in your playing and you can use the same ideas all up and down the neck in different music musical keys. So if you're playing a song in A, you might just shift the positions and you wouldn't use uh, open strings. And 
so just mm -hmm. experiment with all of these ideas and as always they're just the springboard for your own playing to get you going it's not the final word on any any uh, of your your guitar playing here so first one on lesson 61 it involves slides all of these exercises and these licks on this page use slides so we're going to slide from the second fret to the third fret on the first string it'll sound like this then we're going to play the open string then we're going to play the third fret fretted and then we'll play the open string and then we'll repeat it and that's a great stock lick you can use and if you slide faster from the F sharp, the second fret to the G, it'll sound like this. So that gives it a different quality. The next one we're going to practice is the second exercise on lesson 61. And it's going to have a similar slide from the second fret to the third fret, but this time it's going to be on the B string. It's going to sound like this. Then play the B string open. Then play the A, the second fret of the third string. And then play the G open. And then repeat it. And then this one faster will sound, with the faster slide, will sound like this. Like that. And that's a nice technique to have in your bag of tricks. Next guy is going to be a slide. This is exercise three on lesson 61. Will be a slide from the G sharp to the A on the uh, third string. It's going to sound like this with an open string note played after it. And then we'll play the E note on the D string and then the open D. So all together it will sound like this. very expressive kind of blues rock lick. You can emphasize that first slide by digging into the note. And give it a real, little bit of a gritty sound. Real, That's a nice rock tone. Um, so also you can experiment with that and slide backwards. Should be something almost a little bit rude about that that particular lick. The next guy, which is exercise four on lesson 61, is going to be an ascending E blues scale, E minor pentatonic, and you're going to have some slides at the very end of the lick. So it'll start off on the open D string. You just play that open D, then you fret the note E, then you'll play the open G. Then you fret the note A. Now you're going to slide from the C sharp to the D. That's the second fret to the third fret on the B string like this. And then you'll play the open B. And then you'll do a similar slide on the high E string from the F sharp to the G and play an open E. So all together, slowly, it will sound like this. time. 